You're lying. It was not an earthquake. It wasn't a typhoon. You're hiding something out there. And it is going to send us back to the Stone Age. I don't know how you could do Godzilla and not be in 3D. It's kind of like a big event movie. We shot the film in 2D, like normal format. And then when you finish, hundreds of people come in and they just break it apart and give it all the depth. We've done comparing like to the real camera stuff and I think it's better because you have more control when you convert it afterwards. You can push things back, pull them forward, shape things more, and you can finesse it a lot more in post. I'm hoping to bring out, you know, the massiveness of this creature as you, you know, you pan up and, and here is this 300 foot wall sort of coming at you. There's a lot of shots in our movie, especially with the monsters in it, are usually from a human perspective. And what's great about that is when you push those creatures back, they look pretty epic. The way that we shot it, which was in a very visceral way, you know, we view it with handheld techniques that are close quarters, as well as drawing back to witness the scale of it, this epic scenario. In the end, when you see the finished product, you're going to see Godzilla in detail and in movement that were not possible 15, 20 years ago. Over the last few weeks, I've been going to reviews and they've been showing me stuff in, in proper 3D. And then you put the glasses on, they show you a shot and you go, whoa, OK, that's the best I've ever seen that shot look. And it happens shot after shot. And eventually, by the end of it, you're like, yeah, OK, if we have a premiere, we've got to do it in 3D because this is just pretty fantastic.